It's the Beatty Freeman Show. It's the Beatty Freeman Show. Yeah, it's the Beatty Freeman Show. Da 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 Lather we live in. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna just I'm gonna lather myself with your applause and your love. Uh, but give some love to Gary, my yeah. man, the uh, the man who makes the music on this show, who I love dearly. His name is Gareth Hawthorne, and he's a great guy. He's a really, really great guy, who I have a lot of respect for. But we are going to a commercial. We'll be right back with my man, Gary Wortham. We'll be right back. wondering that is the shark dance and I hope to start seeing that at parties and dance places that I never go to so what the fuck do I care um, the guest this week that's what it was I have to talk about the guest this week this is a uh, Garrett Warhammer and he is a really really great musician Gareth tell me all about <laughs> yours <laughs> well, I've been playing since I was 12 years old. Don't you have to correct me first? Yeah, I kind of do, but I wasn't going to. I was going to. Oh, that's going to let me hang. I was going to say that. It's actually Freeman. There's a dick there, boy. Don't even know my name. I'm sitting on the set. I'm, it's Gary Wortham, but I'm actually using my middle name. But I, but I, I know it's Gary, Gary Darnell, Darnell Wortham. Wortham. See now, Gary Wortham can get out of a ticket easily. You know, Gary Wortham gets pulled over. Uh, what's your name, son? Gary Wortham. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, everything seems to be in order. There you go, sir. Go ahead and take off. Maybe get that uh, left light looked at uh, sometime. Okay, officer, and thank you very much. But Dar Jer Gary Darnell Wortham gets pulled over? <laughs> he ain't, he's going to jail. <laughs> he's going to jail. Can I see your paperwork? <laughs> Gary Darnell Wortham. <laughs> Step out of the car, sir. <laughs> Put your hands behind your back. You're going in. You know, why? I think you know why, sir. You know, I mean, Darnell, boy, they really, your parents really screwed you. Well, no, it was, it was it's kind of like you can, it depends. I can go Gary Wortham, and until you see me, I'm Gary Wortham, Channel 5 News. Ah. You, and then when I'm Gary Darnell Wortham, it's like, oh. No, then, ooh, that's okay. when you're on Channel 5 News. Is when you're Gary <laughs> well, Darnell it depends on what side of the camera I'm on. Ah, uh, well, you gonna be, you'll be on the side with the, uh, little, with the little thing in glass in the front recording everything. You know, recording things like, ow, those handcuffs are really tight. Hey, why are you taking me away? And I didn't ow, do anything. that's not fair, giving the guy a shot down there. I, Sorry, that was, uh, <laughs> that was schoolhouse. <laughs> Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> ah, my director. He knew it. He knew it. Of course oh, he did. Thomas knew it. Of course when he did. did we meet? Oh, how we old were kids. was I? How old was I? When you we were met? twelve. I was a teenager. And we still haven't got the court settlement worked out yet. No. <laughs> no. We still we're still working at. I was, tw I was Those lawyer fees, though. No, let me tell you, after all these years. I, I wish yeah. you. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. We were. Geez, we were. I was never friends of the face. Never slapped me on the butt, and uh, we wouldn't be here right now. It's starting to sound like a whole different kind of scenario. <laughs> wow, you said that. You said that left real fast. 
Hey, no, listen, no, I, uh, I, I, I was, was friends I, with your brother. Yeah, Jerry. And you, you, you had never seen someone. You tell this part of the story. I well, yeah, I, 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 well, I, was, I didn't know this until recently. That you, I was, well, I was going to a school that focused on uh, the arts, on performing arts, and um, I had started to get interested in all these other arts and different things and what I could put to comedy, what I could do with it. And um, I already could sing, but I wanted to know how to play an instrument now, but I never could do that. So Jerry went, and I didn't believe that I could or that anybody could. <laughs> it seemed so, so hard to do. Jerry got me a guitar, and I tried to learn, but he didn't get me any lessons. You know, <laughs> it's, it's like, you forgot the lessons, man, you know? <laughs> It's like giving somebody a car and saying, well, God, just go ahead <laughs> Good and <luck>. drive. <laughs> you know, it's like, I didn't have anything, you know. So he brought Gary over, and I was about 12, and he brought Gary over, and Gary brought his guitar, and I thought, oh, he's going to be like strum, strum, here's this, here's this chord, here's that chord. But he doesn't. What he does is he comes down and he just starts to play. And when I say start to play, I mean he starts to rip it up like nothing I have ever seen before in real life. I've never seen this. I have never seen anybody in real life just open a guitar up, sling it over their shoulder, and just bam! I mean, just like it was, I was, my eyes were like, and you know I got squinty eyes, everybody, but my eyes got this big, okay? I, they never got that big again. Uh, they've been squinty ever since. I am. Uh, I haven't impressed myself enough yet, I guess. But it was the most amazing thing that I had ever seen. It was the I, most amazing. Every thing time I you had tell that seen. story, I just I'm I'm flabbergasted. It's, it, it, All it's, I can do is listen. It, it's just it, it was absolutely amazing. And so now, then the years go on, of course, and I go into uh, acting and comedy. Gary goes on with his music, becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. And then he decides to make the move to L.A. And then I say, hey, you know, and Jerry brings him over. And I'm thinking to myself, as, Gary, as, as Gary's now living in L.A., I'm sitting there thinking to myself, with Jerry out there, I wonder if he would take a job on my show. <laughs> and if he would be the musical director and just play his guitar and do all the music and everything. And so I went to him and said one day, after my brother had left, uh, I went to him and said, uh, Gary, would you, would you think about playing for my, and he was like, yes. <laughs> you know, before I could even get it out, he was like, yes, I was hoping you were going to ask that. And I was like, cool. So he came in and instantly the show got like 70, 75% better it was already a hundred percent better than all the other bullshit that you guys are watching but it began set so now it's 175 percent better because <laughs> of this guy right here and uh what do you what do you remember from that day i just remember there was uh you know jerry 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 said hey bring your guitar over and he he might have even mentioned you or, or or whatever you know but didn't really tell me that that was like a feature of like me being there and he's just like play something or let's you know let's hear that song you were playing before and and I noticed that you know your your other family members were like oh it's Gary that they disappeared you hung around and you just watched you were very quiet but your eyes were kind of actually that big. yeah I had and you were never just watching and I was just kind of like yeah. I think he likes I think he likes entertainment I think he likes guitar okay and, and then I asked you to fast play another forward, and you I did ask for more songs another yeah. you, you, you didn't want me to, to stop another. playing another. You know, until Jerry was finally like, Gary's got to go home. You know? that, is kind of, that is kind of the way that happened. You yeah. did not, you, you were like, this I is what I want to watch. I just, yeah. I could sit yeah. down. I, if you had played for huh. three days, I would have sat there for three days You would have probably not moved. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. I hadn't thought about all that. That's kind of the thing. You know, we get here and we sit here and we start talking about it. And then other parts of it come out where you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. you were really just not leaving. Yeah. And you did keep asking for more songs. I would have until asked. Jerry finally said, you know, we got it home, right? I would have asked until the Sabbath. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because as everyone knows, I'm Jewish. So it, it, would, it would be, yeah, you would have been there forever. You would have been there forever. So, but, uh, but now you're here. 
And so it's like, you know, We're having fun God was moving things around even back then of where it was that I was going to be. Because if you look at my life, the fact of me having my own show and being a comedian and an actor and movies on, on television, it really doesn't look like it should have... <laughs> it really doesn't look like the it should have led here. You know, my life feels like it should have led to me working like maybe in a pet store, just like giving puppies and birds to people, you know? Whatever whatever it is that people, whatever jobs it Why is that... Well, because Because wherever it is that people... <laughs> who wear helmets and ride short buses to school. Wherever it is that they end up at working is where I should have been. Because, I mean, as I told the, my audience in the beginning, uh, I don't make any secret of it, I have OCD, I have uh, ADHD, I have uh, anxiety disorder, and I have, uh, I don't know, a couple of other things that every day I get up and have to take all this medication to keep all at bay. So, but I don't hide that. That is, that's who I am. It's a part of me. And, and uh, I don't mind telling anybody that because there's a lot of cats out there that feel like they're alone in it or they can't tell people. Tell anybody you want. If they, you know, if they get weird around you, that's not your friend. Get the hell away from them in the first place. But um, good point. Uh, I, agree. I tell I tell anybody, you know, when I'm standing in line for groceries, people around me I don't know. I'm like, hey, ADHD, <laughs> anxiety disorder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, OCD. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's that? Oh, obsessive compulsive disorder is what that is. I have OCD. Obsessive compulsive disorder is what that is. What I have OCD. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> I, I see what you did it, there. It keeps me in line. <laughs> it, it's actually it, it, it's actually a copy of a joke I just think I just did last week. But I loved doing it so much that I did it again. It'll, you'll probably see it again. <laughs> I haven't worked up a lot of material for this particular show because I spent the week being so pissed off about the story I told you in, first, in the first place. And rightly so. But um, I'm not trying to bring you in on that because I want people to like you. Know you know where I am on that. I want, I, I, <laughs> if they're going to not like somebody, let it be me, not you. Um, I love your music, man. I'm a fan. Thank you. And when we come back, uh, we're going to hear about how you started and everything. And okay. Then, and then we're going to hear some, uh, some tunes from you, right? Yes, you are. Fantastic. All right, All right, everybody. We're going to a commercial now. Go to the bathroom. Get yourself something to eat. You know what? Take that dump you've been waiting to take. I'm not mean <laughs> like the one since the show came on. I mean the one that since this morning. One. You know, the one that you really wanted to take. Take that one because you can always push pause on this. It's streaming, baby. You got the power. Go take that dump. Come back. I'll still be here. Go. Go. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. How you doing? Oh, that's good. Was that shit good? I bet you it was amazing. I'm happy for you. Male, female, straight, gay. If you laid a huge dump and you feel better now, I feel better for you. Speaking of feeling better, I want you guys to know uh, how it felt for me watching this guy just lay down the funk. And we don't have a lot of time left because we want to get in a lot of his music. Um, so I'm just going to ask, like, how did it begin and get to now? My big brother had a guitar when I was like maybe eight and I used to uh, steal it and play it and get beat up. And so, <laughs> and so I, uh, that sounds like my life. So my parents had to buy me a guitar when I was 12 so that we would stop fighting over his guitar, which he never played. I just was not allowed to touch it. That was a fun part. So that's, then, um, that's, that's big brothers right there. That's big there. brothers right there. So I went ahead and, uh, much like you were saying, where, you know, there were, ah, there were no, I basically am self-taught. I'll cut to that part. 
And so, um, so you it, wait a minute. Wait, don't no, let's get not, not get past that. I'm mostly you said you're you're self taught. I yeah. mean, how did how did you do that? I I barely learned self taught yet. I learned from from the radio. I learned from you know, music records albums. You know? How long did it take you to be able to like get through your first song? Oh gee, I have no, I have no idea. That's a tough question. Uh, probably it, it, at least a couple of weeks before I could actually play a song from the beginning to the end. Wow. You know, but I'm talking like really simple stuff here. Mary did indeed have a little lamb. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's what the white man wants you to believe. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I well, think you know, that, that Mary, you make a good when point, they say lamb, what they meant was slave. Uh, his, fleece, his fleece was white as snow. The slaves followed her wherever she would go. That's right. <laughs> Out into the cotton fields. Um, that's the fleece. That's the whitest yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. Oh. And they just changed it to. Uh, I to, see what you're saying. Yeah. I wish I like, knew. Take another look at that. I will story. never sing that song again. You know, uh, Mary was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyway. Oh shit. Sorry Anyways, about that. No, Sorry okay. about that. <laughs> Any kids that are watching. It's late night. I know I just said that past Mary your was a bitch, but it's past your bedtime. <laughs> the hell are you doing watching this show? I'm a bad guy? Kid, you're a bad guy. <laughs> Go to bed. All right. But, but, but you just, and so you picked it up, you learned it yourself, and yeah. then you just kept on going. I just kept going. Once I got going, I, and, I, and I started liking a lot of very uh, bands that have complicated material. You know, Rush, Yes, Kansas, yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. Parliament. There was oh, that yeah. You know, I'm not going to let you get away with that because I want. I oh. want because I, I still am. You know, little Bobby Freeman, who's inside, is still in shock from the first day you played. And I just want to know. I, I know you knew, probably don't know what you played that first day, but I know it was funky. And can you just play just like 20 seconds? Sure. I'm just, trying to remember I'll, myself. That's a, just, my my know. deep in thought look there was uh, trying to remember what uh, what I would. There's no way that was a while ago that I can remember. That was probably the first line that I learned uh, that was complicated, and that's from Parliament Funkadelic. Yeah, you know, I remember the opening now. Yeah. Yeah. Defend yourself. Moving right on you, uh, baby. That was funky. Thank you. You know, one more. wasn't mine. I stole it. I know, but Gary one Schneider? more. Just, just one more. Just something. Friggin' loved it. Friggin' loved it. Listen, okay, since that wasn't enough for me, and that obviously was not enough for them or our studio audience, can we get you to play a couple of your originals? Absolutely. I know, you, I know you got a new album out, and can you, uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, can you hit the stage and, uh, we'll and play do. it up for us? We'll do. Fantastic. I got when you. When we come Ooh. back. Oh, we got Gary Darnell Wortham. That's go that's gonna look great. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm clapping too, damn it. I'm clapping too. We're about to hear one of my favorite guitarists in the whole world from his new album Anomaly. This song is called Evolution. Of hope, uh, log on, go out, get it. Gary Darnell Wortham. <laughs> Thank you. 
Saturdays. Now this is from the album. So like I said, go out, click, buy it, get it, listen to it, you'll love it. Ten Saturdays from the album Anomaly. Gary Darnell. Work. Something I can do 
waves on a million Saturdays puts a spell on you. Hate to see it has to go. Saturdays, uh, both from the album, and uh, 10 Saturdays, it, I really love because my show, that's what time you guys are watching it, you guys are watching it on Saturday, I almost feel like, damn, that should be like the uh, the mascot song of this show, <laughs> but I love It's the Beatty Freeman Show just a little bit too much, <laughs> but, but it's a, but man, it's right there, it's a fight, they didn't even, they're not, they're not even like uh, uh, not fighting each other. It's a fight. It's a fight in the <laughs> ring. Man, I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, it's it's freaking Ali and Foreman in there, man. Oh. It's a rumble in the jungle. That's a fight. That's a fight. That's a fight. That's a fight, <laughs> man. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you to come back on over here. Uh, uh, we'll be right back because uh, I want to do a song with my man. Y'all know I play a little guitar. I want to do a song with him for y'all too. And uh, sorry, don't turn off your friggin' streaming, mean people. Uh, no, I know you guys love it. Uh, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Clapping for you, man. I don't know who the hell they're clapping for. Could be me. <laughs> they're I clapping don't know, for you. But I'm clapping for you. I'm clapping for you. Well, what are gonna... you guys clapping for? Oh, now there's a diplomatic it. fellow. It. There's a diplomatic fellow what a guy, out there. What a guy. What a guy. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. <laughs> what a heck of a guy. Oh, that's right. That's from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Uh, no one remembers that. Okay. Uh, what time? Uh, I got the harmonies. 
Okay, so we've only done this song a couple when times. We're, we're when we're, when we, okay, so we were sitting around thinking of what songs he was going to play on the show. Oops, sorry, I'm kicking plants. Um, of what songs he was going to play on the show, and then I was like, "Well, I want to play a song with you on the show." He says, "Okay, let's figure it out." Of all the, because we play a lot of songs when we're just hanging out together and working out the show and working out music, That's and we landed true. on this one. So this one uh, is back from the old days. This is from the 70s, right? Yes. Yeah. This, this would be from a the 70s. early to mid 70s too. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Yep. So you, I think you guys will know it. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. There it is. Your mama don't dance and daddy don't rock. That came from. I was like, what is that? I've been hanging out with you too long. I was like, is that like a too rare much. rabbit? That is like a them stories, man. Who said that? <laughs> hey. Who was that? Who was it? Anybody in the audience know who was it who wrote all those those stories about black people staying in their place back in there? That's what Brer Rabbit's about. <sighs> Brer Rabbit's about of staying in that area. That black people should know to stay in their place. Word, but hey, <laughs> we'll pick up on that the next show. It's time to say goodnight, Bobby. Why don't you do that so we can pack our stuff and go? Because eventually, even this show will have to end. Like this song. Oh, there it is. It ended already. Woo! Woo! Is, this, is the show over? It is. Oh, wait a minute. I know. Is, we were having we too much rolling? fun. Are we still rolling or is it done? We're still rolling. Oh, we're rolling? Oh, my yeah. God. Hey, good night, everybody. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was having a really good time. See, I started off having a bad time. This guy's here. My people are here. The crew is here. And now I feel better. And I said what I had to say. So, I guess this job's a bit of... Therapy for Bobby? 
Mm. Or even for BD. <laughs> but, uh... Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Good night. Have a better tomorrow. We'll see you on Saturday. We'll see you on Saturday. Bye. Bye.